I'm Dr. Peter Jangalewski, or Dr. DZ for short. I'm the Chief of Head and Neck Surgical Oncology and Microvascular Reconstruction here at UF Health. Head and neck cancers occur from the collarbone and up, except for the brain and eyes. So when we talk about head and neck cancers, what we're really talking about are mouth cancers, throat cancers, voice box cancers. And these cancers account for about 50,000 new cases per year in the U.S. And that makes it the fifth or sixth most common cancer in the country. The best way to prevent a head and neck cancer would be quit smoking or never start in the first place, uh, to cut back on drinking. And also, uh, with current evidence, we believe that if you vaccinate your kids between the age of 9 and 26 with the human papillomavirus or HPV vaccine, um, that could potentially prevent cancers in the future. So here at UF Health, we're a high volume academic tertiary care referral center, meaning that we get a lot of referrals for these very specialized cancers. And head and neck cancers are the fifth or sixth most common cancers in North America, but anywhere you go may only see one or two of these, whereas we see hundreds of these per year. We offer the full gamut of head and neck surgical options for um, head and neck cancers. So this will include standard open approaches and free flap reconstructions, as well as minimally invasive approaches such as robotic surgery or laser surgery. We also offer virtual surgical planning and three-dimensional modeling to help reconstruct the patient's jaws and uh, rehabilitate their mouth with dental implants. These types of cancers require very specialized multidisciplinary treatment. We have surgeons, radiation doctors, medical oncologists, speech language pathologists, physical therapists, and other therapists involved in the care of these patients to ensure that they have the best chance to beat their cancer, to maintain their function, and have an excellent quality of life after their treatment is over.